What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a button that opens that record in your page designer app in your Airtable base. So I hope this is really helpful and I hope this gets you the solution you need. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green and I am the owner of Optimize.is and we help businesses set up workflow automation, database implementation, and stuff like that. So if you're curious about that, go ahead and click the link in the description and you can go to that request a consultation page and learn more. But without further ado, we'll get right into the tutorial now. All right, so to get started in this, what you're gonna wanna have already set up is you're gonna wanna have your page designer set up already. So however you want it formatted, that'll be perfect for you. I just threw a couple things in here to make this tutorial, so it's not gonna be very pretty, but the button will be very useful. So if you haven't created your page designer yet, go ahead and pause this and come back once you have. So to set this up, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to add a field type over here and you're gonna to wanna to add the button field type and this is gonna be very easy to do. So to do this, I'm gonna change this label to page designer or open page, I think would be better. And you can style it however you would like. I like the solid gray one and you're gonna to wanna to go into these actions and you're gonna to wanna to click open in page designer. And you can select the dashboard. So go to your, for me, it'll be whatever it says right here, the tutorial dashboard, and then the page designer there. So all you have to do is then click create field and you can use it. So if I know I want to go down to this page designer, I just click open page and it opens it there. So once you've done that, you can just click open page and it'll open that page and you can go full screen with it and see the whole page but this is a very useful button. I know I use it in many bases and I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you need any help with this kind of stuff, then go in the description and click the link to request a consultation, but also go throw a comment down in the comments section as to what you are using in your page designer app and how this button has helped you save time. So without further ado, you guys can go watch the next video. And if you are curious about more, you can go check out more app stuff. Then you can check out my video about the pivot tables and charts in Airtable that you can create. I go through how to create them and visualize the data that you really want to use to help you make better decisions in your business. So I hope this was helpful and go watch those videos.